Hello everyone, welcome to Pandey Guruji YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about the how you can install the Adventure Work database. So basically, uh, some of the student have the issue to related to the uh, download the Adventure Work database. So just I am giving you the overview. Adventure Work database is basically a database provided by the some sample data by the Microsoft team. So uh, all the data set are available in the Microsoft website. So in this video, I will discuss about the how you can install the Adventure Work database to uh, just for the practice purpose. So uh, before going to start this video, if you are if you want to uh, learn the complete SQL and practice the interview question, so you can find the all the interview question and the uh, SQL learning material under the. Uh, I have the one uh, website. My website is studyiteducation.com. Uh, here you can find the all the training material related to the SQL, practice the interview question, uh, learn the SQL uh, training material, training video, and also we have the interview question in the PDF. So you can enroll all these courses, and uh, uh, this is very low cost till available the 31st of the August. So as soon as possible, you can enroll and learn the SQL. So uh, let's start with this video, how you can install this uh, database. So just you can uh, type the google.com. Okay, so in Google, Google, you can just type the uh, Adventure Work Database Download. So once you click on Adventure Work Database, this is the Microsoft website here, Adventure Work Sample Database. So once you click here, uh, you can find uh, uh, we have the OLTP. So OLTP is the nothing but the uh, transactional database, and uh, we also have the data warehouse. So I will I will discuss both how uh, you can install the OLTP and uh, also the data warehouse as well. And this is the lightweight. So we have the small uh, data uh, like I. So if you want to practice, uh, uh, you can either you can OLTP or either you can use the uh, data warehouse. So I'm just suggesting you. Uh, please uh, install the both uh, at data work uh, data uh, warehouse as well as the OLTP. So once you click on this one, uh, the backup file will be uh, downloaded, and also just you can click on the Adventure Work uh, DW 2019 uh, BAK. And this is the data warehouse uh, uh, will be downloaded, and so once the download is completed. Uh, just you can copy both file into the uh, some of the drive okay so uh, let me put in my local machine drive that is the i i put it this let me put into my e drive okay so basically this is a very helpful to uh, when we install the database so just pick the data from the uh, backup file from the e drive so i place both the file under the e drive uh, now you can back to the sql server uh, uh, management studio so I have the SQL server management studio so now you can see here uh, in the database uh, right click on the database and just click on the uh, restore database okay so once you click the restore database new pop-up uh, uh, will be uh, new pop-up will be added okay so that pop-up they it will be asked something related to uh, like let me add show you uh, how we can add that uh, pop-up also so it will be open in new pop-up okay so basically it will be uh, so like this one so I hope you you able to see uh, the new uh, window here so now in this window window we have the some type of the setting available so uh, just you can click on the first device okay so once you click on the device, uh, it will be asked something uh, to add the file. So in the you can see here three dot uh, option will be there. So once you click on the three dot option, so it will be so again one more pop up. Okay. So here you need to be add the file here where your file is uh, located, like in the local machine, uh, local drive. So let me add this one. So I place this file on the uh, e drive so let me uh, select first uh, adventure work 2019 database okay so uh, once i click this one and uh, i click the okay 
so you can see uh, this is the adventure work full database path is added here and uh, here the, this is the database name okay so if you want to change the database name here you can uh, uh, change it okay so now if you uh, click on ok and uh, it will take some time time okay once you click on ok it will take some time to complete the execution and uh, once you once the execution is completed uh, it will uh, show the successfully okay so around uh, one to two minute uh, it will take to time to the uh, display the means uh, the database is loaded so based on the server load based on the some type of the uh, latency it will load all the adventure work database from the local machine uh, to the or uh, database server and this is a very useful uh, this is a very useful uh, database where you can basically we have lots of the data and all the table are we have some type of the relationship and uh, all the table we have some type of the uh, matching record as well as so this is a very good for the initial page uh, if you want to really practice on the uh, real time database as well okay so so now you can see execution is completed now you can back to this uh, database and you can refresh it so now you can see adventure work 2019 as installed now let me install the data warehouse as well so now same you need to be click on the restore here okay and same you need to be add uh, same you need to be add the same the path here so first you need to be click on the device and three dot button and you need to be add the file uh, so my file is placed on the e drive so let me select the data warehouse and uh, i added the file and i click on the ok so it will t it will take some time to complete it now you can see this is completed uh, successfully so again go back to this uh, database and uh, you can see the board database is uh, uh, both database is they added into the my uh, uh, so how you can check the table is available so first you can check the adventure work 2019 so here uh, this database we have the schema name so different different schema like we have the dbo have the three table so by default we have the dbo uh, we have the human resources person and uh, so uh, production so production uh, uh, production sales also if you want to uh, if you want to see the table of the any you need to be right give the complete uh, name like the production uh, person dot address then only you able to see the table like you if you can see I put it the human research resource dot imply uh, if you directly uh, select this database like uh, if you selected the adventure work database okay like uh, I am just selecting adventure work database and uh, if I put this select star from uh, uh, only employee table it will throw an error something like invalid object so if you want to complete table name uh, you need to be put the complete path a schema name dot the table name so human resources uh, is the schema name and the, this is the table name okay so just you can run you will get but on, on the other hand uh, basically if you try to work on the adventure work database okay so here uh, all the table are available in the by default the schema that is the dbo so if you select a table it will take the by default schema name only okay so like here we have the dim customer like uh, data warehouse we have the uh, dim dimension table and the fact table so basically data will be loaded from the transaction database so uh, i hope you understand uh, how you can install uh, all this database so still if you have any question, if you have any doubt, uh, you can uh, put the uh, doubt on the comment box and uh, thank you so much for the watching complete this video. You can learn more in this coming video as well. So thank you so much.